Welcome back to Inside Healthcare. Did you know that one in eight kids go hungry in America, including here in Minnesota? Food shelves say they are busier than ever. We are pleased to have back with us Meredith Spector, who is with a local Lions Club, to tell us what they're doing to fight hunger in their community and how you can help. So, Meredith, glad to have you back with us. Well, thank you for inviting me. I I am very happy to return here and, of course, very calm to be speaking in front of a huge audience. <laughs> hunger is actually uh, a misnomer in the case when you are looking at it from a Lions Club perspective. Hunger is one of the global initiatives that the International Lions Organization is addressing, among others. But hunger doesn't always mean being hungry. So in our community, and I'm just going to say that my Lions Club is located in Woodbury, um, it, it is not always that we're addressing people who are hungry, but people who don't have access to nutritious food, or people who are economically not having the um, proportion of their income readily available to purchase food, and other sorts of things, like in the schools, for instance, uh, people who may come from disadvantaged or marginally um, funded for their food program are coming without some nourishing um, snack, for instance. So in our Lions Club, we decided a number of things. We wanted to follow a global initiative and support that within the local confines of our community so that we why, are yeah. taking it locally. So in our club, there are two reasons why we're doing that. Were you going to ask that? Okay. Yeah, so yeah, in the month of April here, you have a number of initiatives going on. Why don't you tell us about them? I do. Okay, we just decided that April was going to be our hunger month, but we have one initiative we're saving for the fall. But let me tell you what's happening this month. During the year, we raise funds and we apportion those funds to various initiatives in the community to give our donations. So yesterday, because April is, we have determined, is going to be our hunger month, we donated $1,000 to Open Cupboard, which is a food pantry mm -hmm. in the Woodbury Oakdale area. And during that time, they're, they're, they're Funds are used to purchase uh, partnerships with local farmers or to rescue food or to simply um, make some deals with food providers from other organizations. It's so, amazing what they could do with that, that money. You know, it's not just... I read somewhere that, yeah. I, I think it was on their website, that $45 of a donation will service 25 was, people yeah. coming in for a... Um, a meal or a cart to feed their family for two days. So very effective. It's very That's effective. That's great that you were able to do that. That's our one. And number two, we are, we are looking at the proportion of children in, in schools who may need some access to, let's not say healthy snacks, but perhaps safe snacks to uh, in between the breakfast and the lunch. What would be a safe snack? Something that doesn't have nuts. <laughs> Oh, yes. Or a load of sugar <laughs> and uh, something that doesn't need refrigeration because we just can't provide that. Mm -hmm. But there was, we also decided that we were going to assist that endeavor by focusing on a program that was developed by a local Girl Scout troop, Girl Scout Troop 55128, which is in Woodbury, several years ago developed a program called Snack 833, which is our school district. And what they do is to provide individual packets of snacks in grocery bags. I'm going to show you the kind of bags. Mm -hmm. And you can purchase boxes of multiple individually wrapped safe snacks. And one by one, you can drop a variety into the bag, which the Lions Club is going to do during their meeting on 11, uh, April 11th. So this is the second year that we are doing this for to support the local Girl Scouts initiative and in turn that wow, goes to I schools. Love that. Yeah. 
The third thing that we're doing is that we are going to, the very next night on April 12th, have a, a Culver's Give Back Night. Culver's, which is a restaurant chain, and uh, they are allowing us to come in and reap the benefits of 10% of their proceeds between 5 and 7 o'clock on Wednesday night next week. And we also have the opportunity to run tables. <laughs> so we become visible in the community as helpers, not just handing checks here and there, but as helpers in the community and doing a good service. We intend that the 10% that we receive is going to be included in our hunger relief programs in the future. What do you enjoy doing this and being involved with this? I mean, this is something that you spend. There's, there are two things here. Yeah. Um, I personally enjoy being out there in the public and um, I, I don't maybe one-to-one -one always see the person who is benefiting, but I realize that there is some good coming out of that. And I, I think that um, I have been a lion in other locations and, and also here, but I think that lions in general are providing that very same thing on a grander scale, grander than me. I also like the people that I meet or the people that I work with. And so it's, it's a, it's a win-win for me. So you have these initiatives going on. So if someone's not a lions, mm -hmm. they don't live in Woodbury, how can they help? Uh, there, you don't have to be in Woodbury. There are Lions Clubs all over, but that's not the only provider of service for hunger initiatives. So I think that one of the greatest things that you might be able to do, first of all, you're invited to Culver's. Second of all, you're invited to look on the website to look at your community's pantry or food pantry. They are looking for your donations or your volunteerism because they, they use volunteers to stack their, their markets. Volunteers or to are deliver. so important. Mm -hmm. yeah. Exactly. So. Yeah, and I understand from the open cupboard that the food shelf that the numbers just have escalated. I mean, the, the numbers have really gotten large. Yeah. Oh, yes. Well, number of families. not only was there COVID preceding, but also you've had inflation. And the, the cost of purchasing food is just putting people at risk of being able to purchase enough for their family. And food, as we were saying in our previous, um, with our previous guests, how important nutrition is. It, it keeps their focus and it helps them it helps them socially too because the socialization was another product. Um, it gets noticed who brings what to school. I'm, and I understand not only when we were I was talking about kids, but also seniors are struggling. Is what I'm understanding. Well, there's in a all the communities. There yeah. is another initiative that hunger committee has in our Lions Club, and that's done in the fall, where we collect grocery gift cards for holiday hope uh, nice. and designate seniors as the recipients of those gift cards. So hopefully we've got it covered. Hopefully we are becoming more visible in the community as a purveyor of good work in the hunger community. Well, Maritha, always great to see you. I'm glad huh. to have you on Inside Thank Healthcare you. again. Thank, Thank you. Thank you very much. We appreciate it.